comprar la mía. Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are checking out Scott Falco, Ocarina of Time speedrun animation on today's video. Oh, Ocarina of Time, it wasn't the first uh, Zelda game, but it was the first Zelda game that I personally played. It was the Zelda game that resonated in my mind the most. I think it was one of the highest rated Zelda games because it was like the first Nintendo 64, 3D world, open world, whatnot, whatever you want to call it. Like, that game should go down in history, if not, it already did, as the best Nintendo 64 game, or at least top five, because Ocarina of Time was such a great game. All these bosses, items, 3D world, going on an adventure with Link, getting Epona, this and that. Oh my gosh, such a thrill. And then after that, uh, they released Majora's Mask on the 1064, and I enjoyed that as well. So yeah, Link, Zelda, all of their video games, I don't think there was a bad one that I've played. They always know how to make a solid game, solid storyline, solid plot, this and that, whatnot. But we're going to be checking out a speedrun. This is made by Scott Falco, a speedrun of Ocarina of Time. Let's see how fast Link can defeat Ganondorf on today's video. Hopefully it's pretty fast. I'm pretty sure this is a real video he animated. Like, a speedrun of this is actually true, it actually happened, and he just animated it. So, let's see how long it took this person to defeat Ocarina of Time. Looks like it only took him five minutes. Don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment what was your favorite temple from Ocarina of Time. My favorite temple was probably... Ooh, I have to be honest, I enjoyed the Shadow Temple a lot. I enjoyed the Shadow Temple because... It was kind of creepy, it was good, it was nice, it was fresh, interesting, I liked it. Plus you get hover boots and what was the other item you get? Like a sledgehammer? I don't remember, but yeah, that was Ocarina of Time. Enough of me talking, let's check out Scott Falco, Ocarina of Time, speedrunner, animation, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, we got all these Chinese letters, don't know what that means. <laughs> and guys, I don't have subtitles, so if there's supposed to be subtitles I'm turning on, I don't have them, but let's go ahead and enjoy it. <laughs> this is literally how Ocarina of Time starts. Ooh! Hey, look, listen, Navy is annoying. <laughs> oh, he hit you with that Smash it's final hit. Ocarina of Time fairy. Shut up! <laughs> Bro, what was the name of that fairy? Uh, uh, T Tattle? What? I think that was the name, Tattle? Uh. Uh, I don't remember the name of that fairy. All I know is that it was annoying. Navi, it was an annoying fairy. Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Hey, listen! I don't need to listen to what you're saying. I already know what to do. Stop talking. And for a fairy, you didn't heal me much. I don't think there was one time where you healed me. <laughs> I always have to get other fairies. So really, your purpose was just to get a free ride from me. You did not do anything that entire fiddle game. I'm capping, because obviously the advice was important to some people. But hey, listen! It's kind of annoying. We are in the <laughs> you can't do a backflip off of it. Oh, okay, so this really is a speed run. <laughs> okay, that's like the, the, that's that small sword that you get, the Kakariko sword, and he forgot all about it. No, he has it. <laughs> Hi, can I order a pizza? Hey, you got kids selling stuff here? Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> You got your well, shield now. Well, well, if it isn't Stink, I remember you him. Wanna see that, could you? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Always moving in my way, trying to block me. <laughs> he just, okay. Got your Deku stick. Okay, things are going well so far. Now you gotta go, you gotta go inside of him. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> Inside the Deku Tree was the first temple that you had to go on. And it was it was short, but it was good. You gotta fight that spider at the end. And then after it all, the Deku Tree still like gets petrified and and um wilts away. So I don't know what the point of that was. I don't know how we were saving him. But he does drop a seed and plant a new tree. So I guess he was able to have a kid, you know. He popped out his son right before he wilted away. So everything worked out at the end. I'm just like Bro, we went on this whole temple thing for you to dry up and wilt away? Like, 
Did I save you? Really? Did I save you? He's still Sonic spinballing around. <laughs> oh wow. He got a long lower sword. <laughs> this man Link is Sonic. There you go. There you go. Get that Deku seed. You know, it stuns opponents. You got your compass. There you go. Is that the creator of Zelda? Okay. <laughs> and then he was like, 23 is number one, but I'm just saying, 13 can number two any day of the week. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. I never have any idea what you're saying. I don't. Hey, does number two mean she could take it? Oh, yeah, you have to hit the. Okay, you just. Watch for No Nut November. You had, you had to hit those guys in order to get past them. And what is he doing festive? Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is all going by so fast, but of course, it's a speed run. I don't know what I was expecting. Of course it's gonna go by fast. But all of this is bringing back nostalgia. Wow, every time you start a new temple, dungeon, whatever you want to call it, you have to first find like the dungeon map, the compass, the new item you're supposed to uh, acquire to defeat the boss with. And sometimes there'll even be like half pieces of hearts or quarter pieces of hearts. You know, when you have to collect all the heart pieces to get a new heart container. All of those things are bringing back so much nostalgia. Wow. Oh my goodness. What did you just flash? <laughs> and then, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Drink that. You caught you caught some bugs. <laughs> He's doing the Mario back thing. <laughs> okay. So are you going to defeat Ganon already? Like, I don't know how you speed run Ocarina of Time. Yeah, okay. It feels grooving a little bit. That's peculiar. He's just on the toilet. Oh no. How are you gonna how are you gonna fight a man when he on the toilet? Have you no shame? <laughs> Gandalf can catch all of this smoke because this is the same person who was like entrusted by the Hyrule King. And then he gonna betray you at the end. And remember he like backhands you? <laughs> because it's like he like I think he just took the princess or something. And like he's escaping or like he's going on his horse and like you're trying to stop him and then like he backhands you or something. I don't remember. All I know is that Ganondorf can catch all this smoke because what is the purpose, bro? Why are you here? Why are you trying to kidnap Princess Zelda? Why can't you just do your own thing in the Jirado Desert and be chill, bro? You're already a king. Or relax. There's Zelda. Okay. <laughs> How did he? Where did? Hello, mother- Pop! <laughs> well, no time to worry about this! Yeah, it's time to go, Zelda. You're gonna be in the way. Oh my goodness. What... What is happening right now? Open the door or I'm gonna throw <laughs> rocks through your windows, you dumb- yeah. Oh yeah, you better open the door now. <laughs> she was there with you just to open doors. No other purpose. <laughs> Oh man, Zelda. All those powers and you do nothing. Okay, there is just no way I am ever drinking again. Every time. Every time I drink. Wait, what is he about to do? Something and the castle gets wrecked. Then stop drinking then, okay? <laughs> and this was the one of the hardest boss fights in the world. Oh my goodness. Because if you didn't have like... Okay, of course you needed the Master Sword, but if you didn't have like enough light arrows, or say if you tried to defeat him off of just like purely a hook shot or an arrow, bruh, <laughs> that would take forever. Like you thought defeating Ganon, the whole hitting that energy beam back and forth was enough. No, he turns into this behemoth and then he grows like a dual pair of swords and you have to fight him like that. Don't know how a little kid was able to do that, but Ganondorf, you're sorry for taking an L. <laughs> Oh, his sword turned to a master sword? Use that Deku stick then. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. That's that's the weak spot. That's the weak spot right there. Oh wow. 
And that was the finishing blow. <laughs> That was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it. That was the Ocarina of Time um, <laughs> Speed Run by Scott Falco. Hilarious video. Link defeats Ganon at the end. He restores peace to Hyrule. Um, Zelda's safe. Is Link hooking up with Zelda? I always wondered that. Like, he's going on the, all these intergalactic adventures to save her. She better be passing him some, too, bro. All I know is that if I'm risking my life and defeating huge behemoth beasts to save a girl, <laughs> she better be throwing something my way, you know what I mean? But don't forget to hit me on a like, subscribe, comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Hawk, and stay charmed, my friends.